Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hey there scorpio welcome to your reading for january 2019 thank you so much for tuning in all right scorpio so um check it out when i started first started channeling and just like i was in I, before i started doing you know my round of readings today um, for those of you who are interested, when I'm working on the, uh, the monthly readings, I do it in like the span of four days and I do three readings each day to keep myself from burning out. And before I get, I started, before I get started, I like to have like a little bit of a meditation session where I just focus on the three signs that I'm going to do that day and just start channeling some of the energies for you. I was getting a very aggressive energy from you. Like I, I, when I'm channeling the signs, I picture their symbol. And for you, I, I picture a scorpion and I just focus there and I just see what I pick up on, what I feel, what I see. And I was seeing the scorpion that I was, that I was focusing on acting in a very aggressive manner. I feel a very aggressive energy for you, but this doesn't really feel like you're trying to fight anybody. It feels like you're very aggressive, but it's from a defensive point of view. It's from a defensive stance. It's like you're trying to either keep certain things, elements, people, circumstances, whatnot, whatever. You're just trying to keep things at bay, or you're trying to fight for some sort of independence for yourself. Um, to, 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 to remove some things from your life. But again, it's really only a, coming from a place of, yes, aggression, but defensive aggression, okay? There is a reason why you are trying to remove certain elements from your life or keep certain things or people at bay, okay? Um, yeah, so then I started doing your pre-shuffle here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The other thing I wanted to say is I'm also seeing blue for you. Now, I normally see blue or a bluish type color when I channel for water signs. Um, but for you, Scorpio, this feels like a cobalt blue or like the blue of your throat chakra, which is actually a much lighter than a cobalt blue. But um, it's often depicted, your throat chakra is often depicted as a light blue. But what I'm seeing with this blue color, it's making me think of your throat chakra, which is making me think of um, expressing yourself in, sort, in some sort of way. Maybe setting the record straight somehow, communicating some sort of truth that can be coming across uh, maybe a little bit aggressive. There might be some people that might take offense to it or feel like you're attacking them. When you're not, you're just trying to set the record straight. And you being a Scorpio, I mean... Y'all don't always, <laughs> you're not always the most tactful, but you're also, a lot of the time, you're not even trying to be tactful. It's like, look, bitch, this is the truth. You're gonna, either going to take it or you're going to leave it. I don't, give a, I don't give a flying fuck what you have to think or say about it. Like, blah, blah, blah. That, you know, it's that kind of energy. All right, cool, whatever. That's Scorpio. I'm not trying to, I'm not passing judgment here. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to tell you to, like, rein it in or something like that. I'm just saying that's, 
your it could be your reality so then okay so i saw all that so then i was pulling your pre-shuffle energies here you have the five of wands and the five of swords in reverse with the whole overall energy of the knight of swords i mean yep there's that aggression right there and this could be that aggressive uh communication this also could be that uh, aggressive energy that's working on cutting some certain elements or situations out of your life five of wands five of swords is, are both in reverse there is an energy of rejecting any sort of arguments there's no there's like an energy of not trying to really explain yourself any longer or trying to get people to see your side or to agree with you even um there is no there's an energy of not trying to fight this battle any longer um for five of wands and five of swords with both of them being in reverse yes i'm feeling like there is a rejection of this energy not necessarily tangoing with it anymore but also I'm getting an energy of this could have been a blockage for you or this could have been an energy that you have been in for some time. Um, so that's really why it's coming out in reverse. But with this Knight of Swords energy in the overall here, what that is saying to me is you are working on releasing yourself from this Five of Wands, Five of Swords type energy. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, I feel like I want to describe that more, but I feel like I've done it sufficiently. It's just the Five of Swords energy is feeling more like, um, and it's interesting, it's interesting because I was just talking to Libra about this, but the Five of Swords energy kind of feels like you were, you were enabling in some way. It was a lose-lose situation. You were, you were sticking around in a certain situation, maybe to prove something to yourself, maybe to prove something to others, especially with that Five of Wands energy, just, or maybe just to, to make a point or whatnot, whatever, but it was stagnating you, okay? And it's... It's about time that you move forward and, re and stop fighting that losing battle. It's a losing battle all around, and it's going to remain a losing battle even when you leave that circumstance because there are other people that are still going to be fighting around, putzing around in that bullshit energy, you know, and it's like y you can't stop it. What you can do, though, is you can remove, you can stop feeding into it. You can remove yourself from it completely, and then they have one last source to feed off of they're gonna have to maybe either find someone else to feed off of or it, it crumbles you know what i mean but ultimately that has nothing to do with you and i really feel like you're recognizing that scorpio and you're like you know what fuck this i'm done i'm not doing this shit no more and you better keep that shit away from me too <laughs> don't come up in here with no mess like that again i ain't trying to fuck with that i ain't trying to fuck with you no more doesn't mean I hate you. It just means I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm not doing that shit no more. Bye. Get that shit out of here. Don't come near me with that. You'll get stung. And you, I'm, I'm, we all know you don't want that, right? Okay. <laughs> you better go on with your bad self, Scorpio. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm sorry. It's just it's it's really just a situation where it's like, look, I, I I I'm not trying to say I hate you, or I'm not trying to say you're a bad person or anything like that, or I'm not trying to say I don't like you or anything like. It's just I don't want. I ain't trying to fuck with that no more. Like, no, you can take that lose lose shit. You can take that bullshit elsewhere. Don't come up in here in my in my space in my house in my energy with any of that shit no more. I'm done with it. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I really felt very strongly that I needed to say that. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to give this five shuffles, and then we're going to get down to it. But what I'm also seeing now for you is red. One. Uh, which is symbolizing the root chakra. It could be symbolizing a bit of anger for you. Um, it could also be that aggression that I'm seeing for you. Two. But this, uh, what I'm really feeling like is um, you getting back down to your root, to your beingness here in the world, and re-shifting. 
reallocating your energies, removing certain things from your beingness, from your physical reality so that you can be more, you can, you can flourish more in your beingness here on the planet, which is where in your life, which is where the energy of the root chakra is coming into play. Okay. I hope that made sense for those. Some of you that needed that message will get it. This is three <clears throat> from a Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Four. And five. All right, Scorpio. Here we go. Let's see what we've got for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We have the Seven of Cups. Mm. Well, it seems like you have quite a bit of stuff that needs to be ironed out in your life, don't you, Scorpio? Now, what this kind of feels like here is you've kind of been a little lazy. And you've been allowing things just to, like, slip into your situation um, all willy-nilly. And you're just like, oh, yeah. Like, it's not like it completely flew under your radar at, well, at certain points i do feel like you were, became aware of it and you were like oh wow look how'd that end up here huh whatever i'll deal with it later but the problem is you kept saying that and things kept piling in and in and in and now all of a sudden you're like you wake up you're like oh shit I, oh shit i gotta do something about this now like holy shit and that could be <laughs> that could be where some of this aggressive energy where this like real this like hyperactivity in terms of getting rid of some shit is coming through scorpio mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> it's fine like whatever you can handle it but like still wouldn't it be better just to like stay on top okay fine i'm gonna stop preaching i know i know okay fine seven underneath the seven of cups is the six of cups mm. feeling nostalgic are we hmm Um, I kind of feel like part of part of what because this message is that's coming through is part of the things that have been able to slip into your reality or maybe even slip back into your reality have some sort of nostalgic energies have some maybe they have you have some karmic ties to these circumstances or these certain people or these situations. Um, there's something there's something that has to do with the past that has made it has allowed for whatever it is you're being faced with to like to slip in or to um to show up in your reality for some of you you could be dealing with you're finally dealing with elements from your past that you really have never dealt with before or at least you've never allowed yourself to dealt with before you maybe have never had the emotional wherewithal to deal with it before and maybe you've been going through a bit of an awakening and now that you're starting to see things from a higher point of view, maybe to see things a little clearer than you have in the past, now you can actually look at these situations and start saying, okay, this no longer serves me. Even though it was really significant to my life at some point in the past, at this point, it doesn't really serve me, so I'm going to have to let it go. Underneath the Six of Cups, well, there's that Knight of Swords again. This is the energy of cutting something out fiercely is what i'm hearing letting some aggressively cutting some things out of your life underneath the knight of swords is the ten of pentacles why because they have run their course lesson complete contract complete even you could say with this ten of pentacles this also could have a lot to do with family so some of you actually might be in an energy of like some early spring cleaning where maybe you're actually getting rid of physical things that held a lot of sentimental value to you. And maybe they still do, but at this point, it's literally just clutter. Like it's literally just taking up space in your in your life that you don't want it to be taking up any longer. That and Hey, that is perfectly fine. The Ten of Pentacles is absolutely an energy of a completion of a cycle of a lesson learned of moving forward and letting bygones be bygones even. So there really is, there is very much a, a kind of a spring cleaning energy in terms of um, clearing space so that whatever it is you truly want to come in to fruition has the space to do so. All right. 
the seven of cups um i'm kind of seeing especially with the six of cups here but the seven of cups specifically i'm seeing like close friends or family or maybe even people that you consider to be parts of your family because you've been so close for so long where the relationship has run its course or at least the the dynamic of the relationship needs to change because you are changing because your reality is changing because your uh, uh your alignment is changing yes that could be difficult for some people to understand. And I'm, I'm referring to like the people on the receiving end of that message that, hey, look, our dynamic needs to change now. I know it's been one way for a certain amount of time, but sorry, buddy. Right? All right, getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as however it resonates for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, you have my, 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 none other than that seven of wands. There you go. Right off the bat, Scorpio, like first set of surrounding energies for you is boundaries. And so, yeah, there could be some people in your life that you, you absolutely re need to re-identify who you are to them or how you flow in that relationship. Because your identity is changing, is what I'm hearing. Setting the ground rules. Laying down the new law of the land. Creating boundaries between you and certain situations or certain people. Certain toxic elements, I'm hearing. Seven of Wands is coupled with... <sighs> There's that toxicity. The devil literally laying down the law for the devil whatever the devil represents for you and this really i'm feeling for some of you these this toxic element is family and if it's not like actual mother father sister brother aunt uncle cousin grandma grandpa type family this is like we grew up together we went to high school we went to middle school together type family we went to college together we've been friends for the past 20 30 years type family mm -hmm. Listen, y'all, toxic is toxic. No matter how you want to classify it, how you want to identify it, no matter who they are to you or who they've been to you for however amount of time they've been that way. If it's toxic, it's toxic. And I really do feel like this is an element of an awakening here where you're actually starting to see these toxic elements for who or what they are. And now you're closing yourself off to them or putting them in their place, pushing them to the side, saying, look, you need to step aside because ultimately you're bringing me down or you're affecting you're negatively affecting something that i'm trying to work for like i love you and everything you know we're still cool you know you're still my bro you're still my sis and all that shit but like you need to fall back because now you're getting in my way second set of surrounding energies for you scorpio in the first half of your reading the magician yes this is you taking your power back, you taking the, the reins. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, Scorpio. This magician energy is coming through with a twinge of, um, what's the word for it? I, maybe guilt or maybe a little bit of embarrassment, but only because this is something that you know you've needed to do for a long time. And you've been in an energy of like, seeing being aware that certain elements are like resurfacing or certain things are happening in your environment and you're just kind of like eh, whatever i'll deal with it later ah oh, it's fine oh it's fine oh it's just so and so they, i mean whatever they always do that eh, nope 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 no no not anymore the magician creating taking control of your reality creating a situation as above to reflect, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, as above, so below. Creating a physical circumstance to reflect the, the, the emotional or spiritual reality. Taking the steps to clear away the space and, and clear the energies for that spiritual reality to now be manifested in the physical. Again, as above, so below. But there is definitely an energy of taking control and saying, this will not fly manipulating your circumstances to make it an ideal space for whatever it is you're trying to bring in here that's new, okay? The magician is coupled with the eight of wands. The eight of wands is about communication. 
The, also, the Eight of Wands is about clear and open space. So first of all, this is speaking to clear and conscious and, and concise communication that is setting the record straight, that is priming the landscape. Okay, so if there are some conversations that you need to have with people, if there are some some individuals that you need to set in line or you need to reinform, like you, you need to update your, your, um, uh, your, what is it? You update your, um, terms of service or your terms of use with them, right? Makes sense. There, that, the eight of wands, especially coupled with this knight of swords, there is that communication, setting the record straight, setting the boundaries. Also though, the eight of wands is representing clearing the space clearing the air, clearing the blockages for your manifestations to come in, priming the landscape, if you will. Yes? Your challenge in the second, or oh, I'm sorry, in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, you have the Six of Swords leaving the past behind. That is going to be challenging. I really am seeing individuals that have been very close friends for a very long time, very important people to you in your life, however you describe that that level, that sense of importance, whatever. That's really what I'm seeing here. That is going to be a challenge. It is going to create some sort of nostalgia or maybe you're still really nostalgic, but ultimately with this Knight of Swords energy here at the, in the, 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 the nostalgia is coming from the Six of Cups, the, 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 but the Knight of Swords energy is saying very clearly, look, I mean, I know it's all cute, fuzzy fairy tale and like nostalgia and all sweet, sweet. You remember this? You remember that? Yeah, that was great. But yeah, that was awesome. Oh my God, that was so much fun. But it can't fly any longer. I'm going to have to shut this down now. Or at least take it down a few notches because it cannot hold this space. It cannot hold this top priority in my life any longer. That is absolutely going to be a challenge. I really just want to reassure you guys, this is not saying that you're completely cutting this situation out. If you need to completely cut this situation out, then by all means do that. But what this really, the strongest part of this message for you, Scorpio, is just re redefining the boundaries here. Okay? That's the strongest message. And, but I am picking up that for some of you here, you are going to have to get pretty cutthroat because these people or these circumstances or these situations are just not going to get it. So at that point, the stingers and the claws come out. You're going to get pinched and you're going to get stung. I'm going to hold you down with my pincer and I'm going to sting you until you fucking get it. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Six of Swords is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. So some of this, what you're leaving behind are certain friends or family members that kind of leave you feeling lack, lack or less than. For some of you, you are leaving, you leaving behind a circumstance in which you have been in it because you felt lack or less than. You were trying to prove something to yourself. You were trying to prove something to others, but also... Some of the challenge here for some of you Scorpios is the feelings of abandonment that others might throw in your face as you move forward. But keep in mind, that's an illusion because misery loves company. And especially if the people that you're dealing with are narcissistic, manipulative, toxic, sociopaths, psychopaths, they're going to pull on your heartstrings. They're going to be all like, how could you, how dare you? How could you leave me like this? I mean, we've been, you know, we've been, we've been bros for so long. We've been rolling together. You like, we've been ride or die for X amount of years. And now you're just going to leave me like this. Yeah, actually. I got to go. I got, other sh I got other shit to do, Holmes. This kind of feels like an energy of you've kind of, for some of you, this might actually, this may be a pretty specific, but I just picked up on the fact that some of you, this feels like you've actually outgrown these circumstances. You've outgrown these people. You've outgrown these activities. You've outgrown this, this environment. And those that would play that game of how dare you abandon me, like you can't abandon me like this, blah, blah, blah. Mm, actually, that is a sign of their immaturity because any mature, any mature person would be able to recognize the fact that no one is ever going to stay the same their whole lives. 
people have the right to change and grow and to 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 want to do something different, to want to move in a different direction. So if there are people that are trying to throw that in your face, play the guilt trip with you, take that as a sign that you are actually doing the right thing. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, you've got, hey, hey, now the six of wands. And this really does feel like victory in form of um, you moving in the right direction, you getting, you by taking these steps, by cutting these things out of your life, by redefining your boundaries or whatnot, you are actually going to be successful in bringing in that which you are, I guess, preparing for. Okay. There also could be some sort of recognition here, some sort of notoriety that comes through by you making this change and asserting your dominance in this way, just within your own life. The, I, I feel like there's a sense of there, even maybe even these people that you are redefining your boundaries with, there could be an energy of them gaining a whole new level of respect for you. And if it's not them, then there could definitely be some other people that might be on the outside, kind of like watching this from afar, or maybe other friends of yours that are kind of experiencing you go through this or, and have been experiencing certain, some you going through a certain something over like the, I go, I don't know, whatever last few years or however, whatever long period of time this is for you. They've kind of been watching you, you know, roll through this situation. And now they're watching you make this change. And you're like, wow, I really like, damn. I've found a new found, I've got a newfound respect for you, my man, because like, shit, more power to you, right? Six of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the Page of Wands. So there is success and notoriety, maybe even fame, acknowledgement coming through by you re-identifying yourself, sending a message to the world with the Page of Wands or to the circumstance or the people in the circumstance with the Page of Wands that re-identifies who you are to them or to this situation. Sizing yourself up, re-identifying your power. Page of Wands. That's really awesome, Scorpio. All right, so let's move forward. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorps. We've got, ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. I love it. That's beautiful. That's autonomy. That is, uh, ooh, I heard sobriety. Oh, I wanted to say sobriety. What I was trying to say was sovereignty. But maybe it is sobriety. Maybe you've been in an energy of, you know, numbing the pain or hiding from the truth by... Uh, with used by using substance abuse or or something like that, or maybe it's just that with you separating yourself from these energies that may have been really toxic, you've been kind of intoxicated by the energies of these other people, and now that you separate yourself from it, it's like you find this new sense of sobriety because you don't have their toxic elements now influencing you any longer. Wow, Nine of Pentacles is coupled with. <laughs> judgment. Yes, Scorpio. Hearing the call. This is an awakening. This is Phoenix from the ashes, risen type energy. This is resurrection. This is redemption. This is rebirth. This is you answering the call to step out on your own and be independent somehow. Success. I love that, Scorpio. I really, really love that. Your uh, sec uh, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio, you have the Wheel of Fortune. And yes, actually, I know what card that is because there's this distinguishing mark here. And I, every time, like I've learned what it is now. So every time I see it, I'm like, oop, that's the Wheel of Fortune. The change in the karmic wheel, though. Stepping off the karmic wheel, your karma changing, your destiny realigning in certain ways, um, your destiny maybe even changing because but but your destiny is changing because your 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 alignment is changing your affiliations are changing you're not accepting the same type of toxic karmic energies that you have been in the past so once you start rejecting that and really start moving away from it and even detoxing from it obviously your destiny is going to change because you're not pulling in that same toxic and karmic energy wheel of fortune is coupled with <laughs> the king of swords 
Excellent. And uh, what this is saying to me, Scorpio, is you are really taking control. You're looking at things objectively and you're saying, you're even saying this to the point where it's like, okay, I don't want to keep recreating this. I don't want to keep tangoing with this same energy. So what do I need to do in order to, to, to not manifest this type of stuff any longer? Well, what you need to do is you need to look at it objectively and, and figure out what it is that is blocking you or what it is you need to cut out and make those cuts. And this is not from a place of emotional affiliation or like lo extreme loyalty or being loyal to a fault. No, this is coming from a place of looking it up and down and seeing it for exactly what it is, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the individuals involved and making a decision from there. What is going to be in alignment? What is going to fall in alignment with my highest good? And how does... How do the elements that I see in front of me right now either align with that or hinder that? Very nice, Scorpio. Your uh, challenge in the second half of your reading here, the Ace of Swords. The truth is challenging. For some of you, these are some near and dear people in your lives. For some of you, these are some circumstances that are really, really hold some very strong nostalgic value to you. And the hardest thing, the hardest part for you is going to have to be coming to terms with the truth, understanding what the truth is, and then conveying it or acting on it. Okay. Ace of Swords is coupled with... Oh, wow. The Ace of Cups. Also, the hardest thing that you're going to have to deal with here is recognizing what it is that would serve your highest good? What is coming from a place of unconditional love for you? This may even be the love that you have for someone else that you need to be honest about. And you might, and it might be a situation, what I'm hearing is you might need to be honest with your friends about the true feelings you may have for someone. And how their toxic elements, the toxic, toxic elements that they bring into your life that you have been entertaining doesn't align with that. Doesn't align with the love that you have for someone else with the potential relationship that could be on the horizon for you. And this is another example of how I really do feel like for some of you, this is a situation in which you've outgrown certain circumstances, you've outgrown certain friendships, alliances, and you've grown into a greater awareness and you might even be in an energy of wanting to settle down with someone and you've got a bunch of bachelor friends out there that are just like chasing tail every night and it's like you're not in that energy any longer it doesn't mean that you don't want that you don't love them any less it doesn't mean that you don't still want to be friends with them but it just means that how you interact with them is going to have to change but that's going to be difficult but the, the, the saving grace here is you're going to really have to find the love for yourself within in order to make this change, in order to make this cut. And again, it's not like you're trying to hurt anybody. It's just you got to set the record straight about what it is that is right for you right now and moving forward. I'm even getting an energy of potentially thinking about what you what you would need to do to prepare for a family of some sort okay i'm also getting going back to this nine of pentacles here there is an energy of being a free thinker in in terms of removing yourself from uh certain environments certain social circles certain situations whatnot whatever you're actively learning or starting to think for yourself instead of flowing with the hive mind with the collective mind even, okay? All right, closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading here, you have, ooh, oh, the King of Wands. This could be an energy of the divine masculine if we're talking twin flames, soulmate, uh, whatnot, whatever. Uh, it doesn't have to be though. 
what this really feels like, Scorpio, is you being in an energy of knowing exactly what it is that you want and not being afraid to take the steps that you need to take to go after it, okay? The King of Wands is an energy of someone that really doesn't give a flying fuck what anyone else has to say about what it is they want to do with their lives or the direction that they are moving in. You can take that elsewhere because I really don't remember e ever asking for your opinion, says the King of Wands. So, I mean, like, you can sit there and flap your gums at me. You can sit there and, like, and squawk and squeal and yell and scream and cry all you want. It's not going to change anything. Again, I don't remember asking for your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the King of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Wands. You see, and it's so crazy because the King of Wands is holding that that wand right there, and then there and then comes out the Ace of Wands. I mean, this is this is knowing exactly exactly what it is you want and where you're going. Now, the other element to the King of Wands is that he's also not afraid to sit back and bide his time and and act um, uh, strike at the right time. You know what I mean? He's not afraid to fall back and just wait for the perfect moment to strike. And I also kind of feel like that's the that's what you're doing here, Scorpio. That, but that seems that that feels like it's coming across as um, something else. Whatever it is you're you are desiring to move towards, whatever it is you are priming the landscape for, Scorpio. You're biding your time right now. You're waiting for the right time to strike, which makes perfect sense because it does kind of feel like here there are things, there are some kinks that you need to work out. There's still a little bit of space that you need to secure before you can really take some sort of action in terms of whatever it is you're creatively or, or divinely inspired to move towards, okay? Okay, Scorpio, I really like this. I really like this. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I am really not afraid of your aggressive energy right now. And I'm definitely not going to sit here and tell you, oh, Scorpio, you need to you need to rein it in. You know, you need to fall back. Low. Nuh -uh. No, no, no. Use that aggressive energy to your advantage. I'm not saying to go out looking to really hurt, harm or maim anybody, but use that aggressive energy wisely to your advantage. Okay. Excellent, Scorpio. Cool. All right, so let's get your oracle guidance here for the month of January 2020 for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Let's see, guys. What do we got? What oracle guidance do we have for my Scorpios here? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Just the bottom one here. Hozo, the beauty way of the Navajo. Hozo. I really hope I'm pronouncing these correctly. There's such be it's such a beautiful deck. There's such beautiful cards. I really want you to focus though. Why can't I? Can't I just can't get? I maybe do I not have autofocus on? Anyway, um, I don't. Wow, Eric. That you see. Good lord. I'm sitting here trying to. <laughs> and I don't even have autofocus on. Whatever, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is actually the first card. Card number one. All right. So, here we go. Focus, maybe? There we go. Yeah! Okay. You are my sacred earth child, and I am your divine earth mother. With unconditional love, I provide all that you want and need so that you may fulfill your sacred destiny. We will always belong to each other. With abundance and generosity, I support you, revealing the divine beauty meant for you so that joy and awe shall fill your soul. Relax now. It is time for you to be healed. In a reading this says, there is a beautiful solution available. Do not place your faith in worry or stress. Allow life to unfold. As you relax and give yourself permission to rest within the vastness and beauty of nature, you will become receptive to the best way to handle things. Don't try to figure it out by force. 
let go and trust that what you that what is needed is coming to you at the perfect time and in the perfect way your peaceful mind shall perceive readily and accurately all that you need to know excellent scorpio all right so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i really hope this was helpful helpful for you uh, again, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Bye.